Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day and hello from the Orlando International Airport. So today I want to head inside of the terminal and give you guys a complete walkthrough of the Mirrors Connect, which is the new bus transportation that will get you to the Disney resorts from the airport. And Mirrors Connect has replaced the Disney Magical Express service that used to be free. We used to really love that service in Disney took it away from us. I know a lot of you at home have been really curious about this new service, so hopefully today I'm able to answer all of your questions. I also want to just walk around the terminal, see if we can find any new updates, and also stop inside a few of the theme park gift shops inside of the terminal. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. Now, I did park my car here at the terminal parking garage and this will cost you $19 per day and this directly connects you right to the terminal. There's also economy parking and that will cost you $10 a day. You also have an option to valet park your car and that's gonna cost you $28.76 a day. Here's an overall view of the MCO terminal. We have departing flights right here and then arriving flights down below. I love the fact that they have a moving walkway from the parking garage over to the terminal. And here we are right in the middle of the terminal. We have the terminal B side right there, terminal C, and then terminal A is this way. You have security right here. This is where you'll come off of your plane, off the monorail. You'll walk this way. And from my understanding, Mirrors Connect is towards terminal B and then we have the Magic of Disney Store right there. And we're just going to continue walking this way to Terminal B. We can see the Hyatt Hotel right here. You can actually stay inside of the airport. All right, I'm directly under the B-side terminal. You can also walk off your airplane this way. The Hyatt is right here. We can see the Magic of Disney Store right there. There's also a Universal Orlando store. You can also get your free COVID-19 vaccine here at the airport. And we're just going to take this escalator downstairs where it says ground transportation and rental cars. I just made it down the escalator here. I am now around baggage claim. And from my understanding, you will go right. And this is exactly where the Disney Magical Express service once was. It's at the exact same spot, so I'm going to continue going right. Mirrors Connect also has an employee down here holding up a sign that says Mirrors Connect. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I wanted to quickly point out, if you want a luggage cart, it's going to cost you $6, and they do take credit cards and debit cards here. As I was walking, I looked up, and I noticed they give kids the World Village sign, and I believe this is where the families will first come as soon as they get off their airplane and they will take them directly to the village from here. I will say so far, as of this recording, I am not seeing any kind of signage regarding Mirrors Connect. We can see where they blocked out Disney's Magical Express, but I'm really not seeing any kind of signage. I walked down a good ways. I started right down there where the escalator was, walked straight down, and where it says ground transportation, I'm going to take this escalator down. It's also right by the Spirit Baggage Service. And we can see another sign with the Disney's Magical Express service crossed out. And still, no more Mirrors Connect signage. I'm taking the escalator down. I just made it down the escalator here. And we have our first sign regarding Mirrors Connect. And this is exactly where the Disney's Magical Express service was. It still looks exactly the same. The same kind of setup and everything. This is also located on the same level where you will come to pick up your rental cars. It looks like they do want you to prepay for your boarding pass and then it just says please have your QR code ready. If you guys want to scan this QR code for more information it also says no reservation no problem reserve now at mirrorsconnect.com and here's the standard service rates looks like adults are $32 round trip children ages three through nine 27 dollars round trip so the escalator i came down was right back here there's also some elevators and then here's the entrance to mirrors connect it looks exactly the same you will just walk up there will be a cast member here oh i said cast member there will be an employee here and it looks like you can just scan your qr code right here and then they will tell you which row or which lane to head in Here's another QR code. I can't believe this. 
it looks to be the exact same process as before. There's also restrooms right here, man's and woman's, and also a family restroom. Also, if you are a guest who needs extra assistance, they have you covered. I've been standing here for about 10 minutes just taking some B-roll for this video and I've just been kind of people watching and I'm noticing so many families are so confused on where to go. Just a lot of confusion. So hopefully this video is helping you guys out. If you are finding this video helpful, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up because it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I did want to run over some things about Mirrors Connect. So they offer a standard service and an express service. The standard service is a shared service where you will have multiple stops and the express service will just get you right to your hotel. Something else they are saying on their website about the standard service is the connection will make a limited number of stops and will have you on your way to your resort within 20 minutes of your check-in to Mirrors Connect. I know I talked about the standard rate as far as round trip, but if you want it just one way, adults $16 and children $13.50 one way. Now let's talk about the express service. Now of course this is going to cost you a lot more and the round trip price for express is $250 up to four passengers and then each additional passenger will be another $55. Nowadays one of my biggest tips for you guys is just try to rent a car because it's going to make your life a lot easier. You can be on your own time. You don't have to wait for bus pickups and drop-offs. You can just kind of go about your vacation especially if you're coming down here with a large family it just makes a little more sense to just rent a car just try to budget that in if you can but if not there's other services like mirrors connect keep in mind you also have lyft and uber here and taxis i am starting to see a little bit more signage but look where we are right where you check in for mirrors connect I think mirrors, you guys need to do a lot more as far as better signage upstairs and throughout the terminal. I made it outside. You will queue up right in here after you check in. And then as soon as your bus is here, you'll walk out, get on your bus. And here's what they look like. As you guys can see, these are the exact same buses, just like the Magical Express buses. Exactly the same. Of course, mirrors did remove all of the Disney logos. They will also help with your luggage. Just a little further down from Mirrors Connect, we can still see the buses right there. This is where you can find the taxi service if you want to hop in a taxi to take you to wherever you need to be. It's good to see the Disney Cruise Line buses still in action. Also, if you decide to rent a car, you'll check in, do your paperwork, pick up your keys, then come out the door here, walk across the street, up the escalator, inside of the parking garage to pick up your car. I noticed the taxi sign as far as taxi fares from the airport to get you over to the Magic Kingdom Resorts. It's gonna cost you $68, Epcot Resort 57, Lake Brenna Vista Hotels 52, I Drive Universal Hotels anywhere from 38 to 45. Going back to your Lyft and Uber option, you do have that option here. They will pick you up from the airport and take you wherever you need to go. However, it is quite expensive. They do hike up the price they like surcharge you from the airport to go anywhere basically so keep that in mind it's pretty expensive i think the easiest of course is just to rent a car but if you don't want to rent a car mirrors connect is just the way to go and from my understanding if you decide to take the express option through mirrors connect you won't actually take a bus you will take something like this which is a van so it's a little more private i think i pretty much covered mirrors connect so let's go ahead and go up the escalator back to the terminal to have a quick look around. Oh, check this out. Looks like if you forget your mask or your hand sanitizer, they have you covered in this vending machine. I had no idea there's a Skechers store inside of the terminal. If you somehow need extra luggage, they have a Samsonite store here. I love their luggage. I have a few myself. Whoa, they also have a Ron John surf shop here. Here's one of the food courts located inside of the terminal, but not through security. You have a Moe's, a McDonald's, a Panda Express. Over here you have a Firehouse Subs, Auntie Anne's, Cinnabon, Chick-fil-A, and pizza. Let's stop inside the Universal Orlando Resort gift shop. Oh yeah, this is nice. It's just your average, typical theme park gift shop with a little bit of everything. Some Velocicoaster merch, some standard merch, this is nice for a last minute souvenir. There's also a Harry Potter section. 
You can find all of your favorite Harry Potter merchandise from all houses in here. Robes, wands. This is awesome. Right across from the Universal Orlando Resort gift shop, you can find the Magic of Disney gift shop. And then right outside of that, you have a really fun 50th anniversary photo opportunity. Look at this. How neat. Okay, let's head in. It already looks like another typical theme park gift shop with a little bit of everything in here. You can find some more really cool last minute souvenirs. Some Minnie Mouse ears, t-shirts, the usual. Oh, this is fun. They have Disney pins, Disney luggage, backpacks, wallets. There's also a penny press machine. There's some awesome Star Wars merchandise throughout. A lot of Grogu. I like this Star Wars lounge fly backpack. They have board games, dolls, toys, everything you can think of last minute. The Disney store was right here. There's another photo opportunity on the other side. And across from that, they have a SeaWorld store and a Lids if you need a hat or a basketball jersey. They have a lot of Sesame Street land, plushes and merchandise throughout. Again, just your normal, typical theme park gift shop. A little bit of everything. Of course, you can find so many Starbucks locations throughout the airport. And that's pretty much going to do it here from the Orlando International Airport. We can see one more look at the Hyatt Hotel as the elevator is coming down. We have TSA right here. It's not that bad today. We are in the middle of January 2022. So no more holiday crowds. Travel is starting to calm down a little bit. All right, my friends, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope I was able to provide you guys some valuable information on Mirrors Connect and also just a general tour of MCO. Now, from everything I've seen today and also just by me doing my own research, Mirrors Connect looks to be just as efficient as Disney's Magical Express service used to be. I really wish Disney never took that away because I really enjoyed it. I know a lot of you enjoyed it and it was just very helpful, especially for guests visiting from overseas and it was just nice and I just hate how Disney took that away from us and I really hope Disney regrets this but you know it is what it is and I'm glad that we do have some form of transportation service that's offered through Mirrors Connect. But if you have ever used Mirrors Connect, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know. Remember, if you found this video helpful, please give the video a big thumbs up. It really does help out the channel and just lets me know you guys are enjoying these videos. Thank you all so much for watching. Safe travels. I love you guys and YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming out. Goodbye. I am feeling lonely. And I want to make it time to end the ride Fading it too slowly Where those can lift me up this time You were the only One who got me tripping up inside